Hi Cancer, welcome back to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Cancer is your bi-weekly general reading for the time between October the 25th and November the 11th, okay? I'm going to draw six cards initially. The first three are going to relate to the this last week of October and the second three are going to relate to the first week in November, okay? Um, I've already shuffled the cards, I've already meditated, etc. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I like to just do that on camera as well, of course. Just how I like it, Cancer. Nice, clear message. No beating around the bush. Oh, oh no. Straight to the point with you, Cancer, today. Straight to the point with you. Okay, my darlings, what have we got? Um, so let's have a look at October then. Fabulous, darling. We've got the Nine of Cups. We've got the Three of Pentacles. And we've got the Ace of Cups. Well, wow, very fabulous, darling. Um, this is nice, isn't it? So, yay. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups, first of all. So the Nines, like all the Nines, are related to the Hermit in the Tarot. And the Hermit card, if you, if you remember, is about going within to find out, to find something that's already there. And in this instance, it's related to the element of Cups, um, which is your emotions and your intuition and your feelings. And it's as if maybe you didn't realise or someone didn't realise cancer, the true emotions of a situ involved in a situation. Maybe you didn't know what you really felt about somebody or what somebody really felt about you. Or, um, I mean, I try not to link these general readings to love, but, you know, clearly. Um, <laughs> it might not be love. It could be in a situation any situation in your life but it's as if something in your life anyway it's kind of like you didn't realize the the feel that you how you felt about that thing how good that thing made you feel how great that person made you feel how great that job made you feel and it's a wish something good is coming through for you something that you want um and something that is truly truly within you to want is is actually seems to be coming forth and coming forward and we can say that we'll ignore that for a second because of this we've got an ace we've got the ace of cups and ace is a is a is a number one it's the beginning of everything it's the beginning of something and to the beginning of something clear or someone <laughs> or time with someone that you love a nine plus one is ten as well so that's the ten of cups so we know for sure that something within you that you've wanted that you've longed for that you've wished for potentially and even if it's something that you've not consciously been aware of that you want even if you've not allowed yourself to consciously say oh that's what i want or that's how i feel it's as if something's coming through for you in the month of october now we have neck this card wants to come out next so i'll put that there for a second we have um the three of pentacles next and i love this card one of my favorites in the deck and i talk about how this card really for me represents the first three um emanations on the tree of life and that's about the divine will to create the inspiration action to move forward and then the wisdom and understanding gained from taking the actions that we've taken and it's so in effect it's a card of cooperation it's a card of you working with others others working with you um and in a in a way that's practical in a way that's trying to bring something through bring something to the fr the fore to to bring something out into the world to manifest something this is you working with other people or another person and the universe potentially um or definitely to bring something forth for you guys okay or to, to bring something forth for you cancer so that's really good and it's something solid something real that you can see that you can touch that's out there in the world that people can see and it's linked to this wow Okay, so we might, we've got fast moving energy with this three of pentacles. We've got the energy of the knight of swords and it's very fast moving. Those people that follow me on Facebook um, or Instagram, Keywords and Tarot, will remember a post I wrote about this um, about this fabulous gentleman um, or this fabulous energy um, a few weeks ago. And I talked about, you know, moving very, very quickly towards something that is definitely going to it's going to be successful and work out for you but it's just the speed in which that that you move and this could be 
for some of you starting a relationship, you know, you might meet someone, you might, this literally could be like meeting someone and falling in love at first sight. Do you know what I mean? It could be that type of energy um, where you, you suddenly, you suddenly instantly find someone that you want to that you connect with that you want to work with that you feel drawn to and that relationship moves extremely quickly um you know and it's on both sides it's reciprocated because we've got this three of pentacles so it's like you're going to put in practical work energy and effort into manifesting a relationship with this person and so are they okay and um you know, it's it's also this energy of, you know, it's quite overwhelming for me, the Knight of, of, of Swords. It's like um, your mind works really quickly. So it might be that you meet someone and you imagine all the things. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> let, me re let me rephrase, darling. I do have young people watch my videos as well. Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> what I mean by that is, you might be that you, uh, sorry, that made me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it might be that you think, you know, you meet someone and you're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, um, and you start imagining, you you know, getting married to this person, having children with this person, you know, uh, buying a house with this person or moving moving away with this, whatever it is personally that you imagine. Um, that It could be that type of energy as well, because it is sword energy. So, it's, so it is about our thoughts as well as, as well as our communication. But it's very practical. It's very... Um, what I mean by that is because it's masculine energy, it means that action is going to happen. Things are actually going to start to change. Things you'll see movement, and again, potentially with other people, and potentially something that you love. And you know, it's going to make you feel like this. You know, this energy of the Ace of Cups is fabulous, darling. But it's it can be very overwhelming. I mean, have you ever fallen in love at first sight? Wow. I mean, I tell you. I mean, am I giving it away? Um, <laughs> have you ever had that feeling where? And it's true, you know, people, there's all sorts, we become jaded in our lives and we stop believing that these things are real. We stop believing in love. We stop believing in those instant connections, but they are real and soulmates are real. And doesn't mean that you'll marry every soulmate in your life, but they are real and they, they serve a purpose in your life. You know, a soulmate awakens you to who you really are. And they might only be with you for a few weeks or a few months or a few days, but they can still, you can meet someone one in one day and that one conversation and that one meeting can literally change your life. And I'm, I've got such conviction when I say that because that is exactly what has happened to me in one fleeting moment in one conversation, in one person that I've never ever seen, to this day seen since completely change my life so it can happen so it can be very overwhelming this 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 emotion of the ace of cups but it's a beautiful energy and it's 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 literally like an outpouring of emotion that you that you feel you feel so connected you feel so happy so joyful you know singing and dancing and, and just 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 alive with the ace of cups so this could be the beginning of a romance for some people it could be big or it could be the beginning of a new just some sort of new situation in your life something that you've wanted for a long time for some of you it could be, it could be like winning something or it could be um you know you could be, could be like win a gift or win a holiday or something win the lottery i'm not i'm not listen i ain't predicting that i'm just saying it, it's that type of energy like of new something that you wish for coming you know coming through very quickly and other people being around to support that as well or other people wanting to work with you to bring this thing through for you whatever this thing for you is specifically for some it's love for others it's work it's jobs it's it's you know starting your business it's whatever that is personally for you okay wow and look at November. So coming November, I mean, this is literally, this is two weeks. Some of you might be married in two, and <laughs> hard job. But some of you are single now, and by, by November the 11th, you'll be married. No, I am not saying that, okay? You know that I don't make predictions, per se. That's not my job. I look, I like to look at the energies, but wow. I mean, it tells a story, this reading, doesn't it? It tells a story, wow. We've got the... Um, four of wands clarified by the um ten of wands here so or it might be the other way around but anyway and um, we've got the four of wands clarified so first of all we've got this four of wands this is what we've got in november okay in the first week of november we've got this card and this you know what this card means you know we with the four of wands we've, we've stripped away 
the stuff that we don't need, the unnecessary rubbish. And we really just allow our passion, our inspiration, our drives, our creativity to be the thing that, that gives us that, that, that be our, to be our foundation, to be our security. You know, I'm going to, uh, you know, it's like people who are, it's like people like me do what I do. You know, this is, you know, we, we live this way and it makes up our security in our life. It's something that we're passionate about. It's our inspiration, etc. And that could be the same for you. It can be that, you know, you realise that you don't need all that other stuff, all those other people, all this other stuff. You, you've you got what you need to have the security that you that you require and to have the security that you want. Now also, we call this the marriage card as well because it's about, again, that family unit, the structure of, um, of those two people coming together, two people coming together and building something solid and secure. Now we've got this energy of the... Um, I've just had a thought actually hang on um we've got this energy of the ten of wands as well and the ten of wands is like that it's been you've been on a hard slog you've been working hard towards something you've been you've been working hard um you've been feeling the strain of your life of, of the of the of the responsibilities that you have of the efforts that you've had to instill in things and thankfully that's coming to an end this energy of the ten of the te of the of the one the ten of wands the strain the stress and we know it's coming to an end because it's number 10 so this energy is what's coming to an end the strain the stress of your life what's been making you feel defeated what's been making you feel unable to come up for air you know you've been sort of so focused on getting the business up and running or helping your parents or whatever you know you've been doing in your life and it's like now you can put that strain down and you can really focus on your own security and your own health well-being you know and that's beautiful this is also we call it the marriage card have i said that i can't remember for some of you it could be this could literally be your these are you could be getting married um around this time of year and it's been a bit of a effort you know the, the planning of the wedding but finally the wedding day is coming and you're getting you know it's finally coming the wedding day and um for you and obviously that's something to be excited about so the strain that the planning and everything that's gone into preparing for this day you know is um is over with now and then you can celebrate in in november or celebrate the wedding you might your wedding might be in not october actually uh, anyway you apply it that's a bit specific um, wow, well, then we've got the Magician and then finally we've got the Strength card. So <laughs> I talked about this card in another reading and I, I'll come to that in a second. And I said about the Strength card that whenever I see this card, I'm like, it's so deceptive, this card, because people think this is like, oh yeah, this is me being strong. And it is, but it's the, it, you only know your strength by seeing your weaknesses and so by the time you get to this in November you're probably absolutely exhausted but still standing you're exhausted though because you've been you've been doing all this work putting all this effort in with the ten of wands whatever that's been in into your life in your life specifically you've been putting all this energy in all this effort and you're like I'm absolutely shattered now I need to I need to lie down I need a rest and you can you can have your rest because it seems like the the i think for some of you this is like you're getting married you know you've planned your wedding and you you get married this week or whatever and you're exhausted but finally you can you can enjoy it you can enjoy it for others of you you know this is something that you've been working on something that you've been trying to get to and and think about that you know we think when when i say that people might think in a practical way but it doesn't have to be you know doing courses to get to a job or doing interviews to get a job or anything like that it could be you working on you it could be you you know trying to have emotional breakthroughs trying to work through your healing trying to trying to work on your karma it could be that and it could be that that's been exhausting for you but it's also something that you've you, you're clearly having breakthroughs if you've been working through something karmically if you've been working to try to overcome something emotionally you're clearly having those breakthroughs um in over this next couple of weeks which is lovely to see okay the last card which i'm going to look at because i've already spoke about the strength card is the magician energy and i can't rem it's funny because 
I do these readings and I literally cannot remember what I just said to you. Um, and I can't, once I turn the camera off, I, I won't remember what, what the reading was about. Um, so I have to name the readings as soon as I, I turn off the camera, otherwise I forget. Um, but anyway, so I can't remember if I've, I might have said all this, but bear with me. Uh, the Magician, this is about you <laughs> feeling in control, uh, able to create, connected to your personal power, connected to the fact that you can make things happen. You can create things. You can, if you put your energy into something, you can make it work. You can make it come to fruition. That's this energy here. And it's about really understanding how you work. You know, maybe this time planning this wedding for some of you or, you know, working through this karma for some of you or, you know, trying to, or, or falling in love and, 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 and you know, meeting somebody and, and, and committing to a relationship, committing to somebody for some of you, whatever it is, it's like you're realising that I can do this. Yeah, it was really hard, but look at what I did. Like, I'm able to do this now. I'm able to, I now know that I can achieve something, that I can, you know, start my own business. Or I now know that I can, you know, be in a committed relationship. Or I now know that I am over the the traumas of my past or whatever it is for you so cancer you know it's it's this is what the energy this is the energy of the of the magician it's number one the the the, the excuse me the divine will to create and that could be from your inspiration that could be you again saying to yourself i want better for me i want to get over this i want to have this relationship i want to build this business whatever it is for you specifically um and and it's really finding that within you and really recognizing that that i'm going to say this quote with great power comes great responsibility it's really recognizing that to understand your strength to understand you know, your abilities, your personal power, the things that you can affect by your actions, by your thinking. To understand that, you have to really, in a way, not suffer, but be tested really and be shown. You have to not hit rock bottom, but you have to go through challenges in order to really see for yourself that you are the magician and that you can create and that you can build and you can make things and you can be a success. It, we have to be challenged in order for us to see that and so this is kind of like for you the ending of a, a cycle for you or the, the beginning of a, of a new cycle so you've ended it's like you've, you're closing out a cycle of oh yeah i did just say that i don't know um, it's like you're closing out a cycle with the number uh with this number 10 here the 10 of um of wands and you're beginning a new way of thinking a new way of being a new way of existing in the world you know, it's really, um, I just really feel like, I, I do these readings and, and I don't know if they lead on. I don't know, as I said, I, I, I'll turn this off and I won't remember what I've said. But I really feel like energetically, you've made real steady progress. Um, and I feel like the readings have reflected that. I can't remember, but I feel like they have. I feel like your readings kind of have reflected that over the last few months that you have been making some steady progress. And I think that this is where you've been trying to get to, whatever that is for you personally. I feel like those things that you want to, to come into your life, I really feel like you're gonna be getting those um, cancer and not for lack, and, 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 and I really think it's because of the effort you've been putting in, because of the work that you've been doing on yourself. And for some of you, yeah, that definitely will be love, you know, and, I, as I said, I'm loathed to make predictions, but um, when we love, for example, if you look at it from a from a higher perspective, you know, you the things in your life come into your life when they are ready, and 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 in love, for example, you're ready for love when you can love yourself. You're ready for that for that love for that soulmate for that life partner or that new romance whatever that you've personally been looking for you're ready for that once you've healed something once you've once you've once you've overcome something of your own hurt or worry or, or whatever traumas that you've been through so so yeah it looks like it suggests these cards suggest that you've been going through stuff you've been overcoming things um and and now you're moving into a new area where you you're starting to get the the love in your life that you want and and it can be love in the form of a person and a relationship 
but it can be love of self as well and it can be love of um and it can be that love of self being expressed in the world if that makes sense so it could be you you know finally accepting yourself and then you might share your gifts with people you know what you love to do what you know who you truly are you might be more willing and more open um with people now and that again brings love into your life so it's a really beautiful um you've, it feels like for some of you, you some of you've been on a on a very um steady journey and it's been it's been um it's been a steady incline even though it's felt um unsteady and it's maybe felt challenging at times of course that's how how it works that's how life is i suppose isn't it but look at what you're getting you're getting your wish fulfillment uh you're getting the good you're getting the good stuff um you're getting the good stuff i like it for you cancer i like it okay so i'm gonna just take a little my, my little thumbnail those people that um oh i'm not gonna show you that one i'm not gonna don't wanna show you the four of the four of wands that's a little that'll be a nice little surprise for you um for those people that have not yet you can check out your um love reading for the month of uh, for the month of october and i'm going to upload your november love reading next week as well so you can see that and it'll give us more information won't it i suppose if it is related to love um you can follow me on instagram facebook please like please share please comment please subscribe if you haven't and um if you need a personal reading it is what's my address key wisdom tart raw at gmail.com <laughs> okay my darlings thank you so much um there's lots of content on my channel right now so check it out and um, for all of you for all signs as well and have a fabulous few weeks cancer i'll see you all again soon my lovelies bye